Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will solve a mechanics problem and this problem is extracted from mechanics by Klepner and Kolenkov. Previously, I have uh, given this problem in the community post of this channel. So in this problem, it is said that L length and mass M, a piece of string of L length and mass M is fastened into a circular loop and this is rotating. Okay. Now we have to find the tension in the string. So how can we do that? So this is our circular loop of string. So the total uh, length of the string is given L, right, in this question. So 2 pi r is equals to L where r is what? r is the radius of this circle, okay. So this is our loop, okay, this is our string, this is string. This is our string. So as this is spinning, so there will be uh, generated a inward force and that force is so what at each and every part of the string there will be generated an e and uh, inward force and this force is what the centripetal force and we know that for small mass suppose dm so for this small mass dm the force is what m omega square r right that means this is dm uh, i am making this del m so del m omega square into r this is the force which is directed inward at each and every uh, mass small mass of this string now there is one another force force which is acting on this mass del m and that is what that is the tension force the force due to tension so the tension force means the intermolecular force right this is what the tension intermolecular force or tension so i am denoting it with t and at each and every part of the string like as uh, i am considering this mass so in this case i am drawing this here uh, here the tension will be directed in what way in this direction tangentially right and each and every part of the string the tension is directed tangentially why tangentially because uh, it is what it is an intermolecular force so here for this mass the upper part the upper part of the string is attracting the lower part and the direction of the attraction is in this way so the tension force is directed in this way so i am just uh, drawing a small uh, arc of this uh, loop circular loop and so suppose this is this arc okay i am just cut this arc and drawn is here drawn this here okay so this is our arc and suppose this is making an angle of theta del theta with the uh, center of the circle so if we make an horizontal axis or x axis then what happens then this angle will be divided into two parts and each and every part will be of magnitude of del theta divided by 2 and we know that the tension is directed tangentially right so i am drawing this so for a small mass suppose for small mass dm or del m here the tension will be directed in the upper side tangentially upward and for and in downward side tangentially in downward side like this okay and they, that will be of magnitude t always so we can divide or we can uh, break this t into two parts two components one that is vertically upward and one that is horizontal component okay so for this part for the downward part also we can do that so here these parts this upper parts these vertical parts will be cancelled out as this force the magnitude of this force is the both of the magnitudes of this force is same t and t so the upper parts will be cancelled out only the net force that will be in the horizontal direction so that will be what of 2 t as each force will be uh, of magnitude okay we have to find the angle right to calculate this force so what will be this angle we know this angle but what will be that angle so let us understand it with the help of geometry i am drawing this triangular almost triangular shape okay so this is like this this is the arc of a circle remember this is the arc of a circle and this is the radius and this is this is the triangle so it is what at this angle if we make a tangent at this angle so this is making an angle 90 degree 
right so this is our 90 degree angle and as this is very small angle del theta by 2 this is very small angle i am assuming that this triangle is made like this okay so this is a triangle and this is the angle 90 degree so this angle will be what the angle here this angle will be what this angle will be this is del theta divided by 2 so this will be 90 minus del theta divided by 2 and as this angle is 90 minus del theta by 2 so what will be this angle this is our tangent this is uh, this I am drawing this 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 is t so this is tangent to this point and we know that uh, for any circle is uh, radius and uh, the tangent made on that point will make 90 degree angle so this and that is the reason for why I am assuming this angle 90 degree and that is the another reason that of this angle will also be 90 degree so this angle will be 90 degree and this is 90 minus this small angle is 90 minus delta theta divided by 2 so this angle will be what this angle will be 90 minus this that will be simply del theta divided by 2 I think this is clear so this angle which is required in our calculation is a del theta divided by 2 so what will be our uh, required force net force so our net force due to the tension inward that so our net force which is directed inward due to the tension in the stream will be of magnitude 2t of sine of this angle as this is the angle delta theta divided by 2 and this is the force so this uh, in this uh, direction what will be the component the component will be of t sine of del theta divided by 2 and as uh, this process is happening in the uh, downward side also so there will be a 2 okay so 2 t sine del theta divided by 2 for this and this okay so for a, a small d uh, del m uh, mass the force that is uh, directed inward due to the tension in the rope is this and this is what this is just equal this will be just equal to our centripetal force because this force is giving the uh, centripetal force so this will be equal to del m into omega square r okay so this is our equation now we have to equate this equation we know that the total mass uh, I am assuming that the total mass is del uh, total mass is m so the mass per unit length will be m over 2 pi r the length of the uh, string and so this is the mass per unit length so for a small element like this so uh, for a small element as this is making uh, an angle theta suppose so this will be uh, so for a small element like del m that del m will be equals to what we know that uh, for in uh, plane polar coordinate the small element small length element will be what r d theta right r d theta or r del theta so we have to uh, multiply this with the mass per unit length to uh, get del m so del m is equals to this mass per unit length into the length small length r del theta so r and r will be cancelled out and this will come out to be i am giving this here m divided by 2 pi into del theta into omega square r is equals to 2 t sine of del theta divided by 2 and now we know that as theta is very small del theta by 2 is also very small so sine del theta divided by 2 as if we uh, expand this series sine series so this is what del theta divided by 2 minus del theta divided by 2 go now uh, as this is very small so i am neglecting all the higher order terms as the higher order terms terms will be just tending to zero so the last term will be left is del theta divided by 2 so i am putting just sine theta by 2 sine del theta by 2 with del theta by 2 so del theta by 2 into 2t is equals to m divided by 2 pi del theta omega square r so del theta will be cancelled out 2 and 2 so our t is equals to m over 2 pi 
omega square into r but in our question there is no uh, there is not given the r so we have to calculate we have to transform r in terms of l so we know that 2 pi r is equals to l so from here i can write that r is equals to what l by 2 pi so l over 2 pi so this will be m over 4 pi square omega square into l so this is our tension this is our required tension in the stream so this problem is solved i think that you have enjoyed this video if you like this video then share this video with your friends and subscribe this channel to get the notifications of my upcoming videos so take care of yourself thank you for watching